they were very worried because I was very premature. <laughs> so it must have been hard for them to like not give up hope. Dana ended up being born at 23 and a half weeks, about 11 inches long, one pound and two ounces. Well, the hardest thing, of course, is number one is, is my baby going to survive? Because especially with such a young baby, you know, the odds are not great. Prior to coming into the NICU, I believe they have all these hopes and dreams. They have this, this expectation of what it's supposed to be like and then reality sets in and it's nothing like that. Um, it really is a crisis situation, not only for the baby, but for the parents and for the healthcare team. Here at Valley Medical Center, we have about 4,000 babies born every year and we have uh, babies transferred from various other hospitals as well. And of the 4,000 babies born, about 8% come to neonatal ICU for further observation if they have any difficulties in breathing or if they're extremely premature or if they're born with any birth defects. To think that you not only have to move the baby, but you have to move the baby and all the equipment that's attached to the baby to do procedures. And the giraffe bed helps kind of make a home for the baby within this one little area. And so you can really get your hands in there. You can lay your hands on the baby. You can provide positive touch for the baby, provide positive experiences for the baby without exposing them to all those other things that are surrounding them. When I started here 11 years ago, we just had a single giraffe bed in the NICU. And through the support of the VMC Foundation and generous donors, uh, as are present in this community, we now have a dozen of them. Well, it's been quite a journey. Um, without the start that you had at Valley Medical Center, it's hard to say what could have happened. But with that start, it's been uh, a great start for her, and you can see that the results have been quite good. So we're seeing uh, children a decade later, typically, and it's very gratifying to see the parents and family members and see these children who've exceeded our wildest expectations. Every staff member in the NICU at VMC really does love what they do, and I, I feel that that's reflected in the care that's provided, and I think that's why our outcomes are so good, because we're serving from a place of the heart instead of just from the mind. You know, nobody knows what's going to happen when you when a woman is pregnant and somebody, a child could be born early at any moment. You just never know. And so it's really important that we have the right environment, caring, nurturing, and technically skilled to get the maximum potential out of each child, to make sure their health is as good as it can be. Not everybody has the uh, funds or insurance to be able to afford that, so it's important that we as a community really support Valley Medical Center's NICU to enable this health care for the whole community. When we're giving to Valley Medical Center, we're giving to one of the best causes we can and we're truly giving to those who really need it.